the cheat code. There's a secret weapon, a hidden advantage in the quest for success that few talk about, desexualizing your mind. It's not about suppressing your natural instincts, but about mastering them. By channeling the immense energy, we often direct towards external desires inwards. We unlock a level of focus, clarity and drive that can be truly life-changing. This isn't just a theory, it's a principle I've seen play out in the lives of countless high achievers, and in my own life too. Meet John, a man on a mission. John, a driven entrepreneur in his late twenties, was at a crossroads. He had always been passionate about technology and innovation, dreaming of creating something that could change the world. He had a burning desire to build something meaningful, a tech startup that could revolutionize the way we connect with information. His vision was clear, but the path to achieving it was fraught with challenges. Yet, he found himself constantly battling distractions. The modern world, with its myriad of digital temptations, seemed to conspire against his focus. The allure of social media, the endless stream of online content, and the pressures of the dating scene all vied for his attention. Each notification, each ping, pulled him further away from his goals. John knew he needed a radical shift to achieve his ambitious goals. He began to explore mindfulness and meditation, seeking ways to quiet his mind and regain control over his time. He read books on productivity, attended workshops, and sought advice from mentors who had walked the path before him. Slowly, he started to implement changes in his daily routine. He had to find a way to harness his energy, to silence the noise and tap into a deeper level of focus. John began to set clear boundaries, dedicating specific hours to deep work and minimizing distractions. With each small victory, his confidence grew. He celebrated the little wins, knowing they were stepping stones to his larger vision. As he continued on his journey, John's startup began to take shape. He presented his ideas to potential investors, gaining support and validation for his vision. John's mission was far from over, but he had taken the first crucial steps. With determination and focus, he was on his way to making his dream a reality. The first hurdle taming the monkey mind. The first step for John was acknowledging the pervasive nature of distraction in the digital age. He found himself constantly pulled in multiple directions, his attention fragmented by the endless notifications and alerts. Our minds are constantly bombarded with stimuli designed to hijack our attention. Every beep, buzz and flash is meticulously crafted to draw us in, to keep us engaged, often at the expense of our peace of mind. From clickbait headlines to meticulously crafted social media posts, we're wired to seek instant gratification. The dopamine hits from likes, shares and comments create a cycle that's hard to break. This creates a state of constant mental chatter, what Buddhists call the monkey mind. The monkey mind is restless, always swinging from one thought to another, never settling, never at peace. For John, taming this monkey mind became paramount. He realized that to regain control over his life, he needed to quiet the incessant noise in his head. He realized that every time he gave in to a distraction, he was feeding the beast, strengthening its grip on his attention. Each moment of distraction was a moment lost, a moment he could never get back. He needed to find a way to starve the monkey, to break free from its incessant demands. John began to practice mindfulness, learning to focus on the present moment, to be aware of his thoughts without being controlled by them. He started setting boundaries, limiting his screen time and creating a space for stillness in his life. It wasn't easy, but with each step he felt the monkey mind losing its grip and a sense of calm beginning to take its place. The Discipline of Focus, a battle against instinct. This is where the concept of desexualizing the mind came into play. John found himself constantly distracted by thoughts and desires that pulled him away from his work. He realized that to achieve his goals, he needed to channel his energy more effectively. While it might seem counterintuitive, John realized that the energy he was expending on external desires, particularly in the realm of relationships, was a significant drain on his focus. Every notification, every message, every fleeting thought about social interactions was a potential distraction. It wasn't about denying his sexuality, he was simply choosing to redirect that energy towards his goals. By doing so, he found a new sense of clarity and purpose. It was about harnessing his inner drive and using it as a powerful tool for personal growth. 
It was about making a conscious choice to invest his time and energy in what truly mattered, building his dream. This wasn't easy. The path to success was filled with temptations and distractions that could easily derail his progress. It required discipline, a conscious choice to resist the allure of instant gratification. John had to constantly remind himself of his long-term goals and the bigger picture. He developed strategies to stay focused, such as setting clear boundaries and creating a structured routine. But John knew that true freedom lay on the other side of discipline. By mastering his impulses and staying committed to his vision, he was able to achieve a sense of fulfillment and empowerment that he had never experienced before. The battle against instinct was ongoing, but with each victory, John grew stronger and more determined. Finding freedom in focus, the unexpected reward. As John delved deeper into this process, he discovered an unexpected reward, a profound sense of inner peace. By releasing the mental energy he had been expending on external desires, he created space for something else, something far more fulfilling. He found joy in the process of creation, in the pursuit of his passion. The constant need for validation from the outside world began to fade, replaced by a deep sense of purpose and self-belief. His mind, once a whirlwind of distractions, became a still pond reflecting the clarity of his vision. The power of deep work channeling energy for maximum impact. This newfound clarity allowed John to tap into the power of deep work. He began to structure his days around uninterrupted blocks of time, dedicating himself fully to the task at hand. He silenced notifications, minimized distractions, and created an environment conducive to focused thought. It was during these periods of deep work that John made the most significant strides. Ideas flowed effortlessly. Solutions to complex problems revealed themselves, and his productivity soared. He was no longer simply working hard, he was working smart, channeling his energy with laser-like precision. Breaking free from the comparison trap. One of the most insidious enemies of focus in the digital age is the comparison trap. We're constantly bombarded with curated versions of other people's lives, airbrushed images of success and happiness that can leave us feeling inadequate and unfulfilled. This constant comparison is a recipe for dissatisfaction, a surefire way to sabotage our own progress. As John desexualized his mind, he also began to desensitize himself to the allure of the comparison trap. He realized that true success wasn't about keeping up with the Joneses, but about running his own race. The magnetism of a clear mind. As John's focus intensified, so too did his charisma. There's an undeniable magnetism to those who possess a clear mind, a sense of purpose that radiates outwards. People were drawn to his newfound confidence, his ability to articulate his vision with passion and clarity. Investors, once hesitant, were now eager to back his venture. Talented individuals, inspired by his vision and work ethic, flocked to join his team. John's journey was living proof that success isn't just about what you do, but about who you become in the process. Living proof, the transformation of John. Within a year, John's company had blossomed. What started as a seed of an idea had grown into a thriving enterprise, attracting attention and accolades from industry leaders. But for John, the greatest reward wasn't the external validation, it was the internal transformation he had undergone. He had conquered his monkey mind, harnessed his energy, and unlocked a level of focus and productivity he never thought possible. Most importantly, he had discovered a profound sense of inner peace, a deep-seated contentment that no amount of external success could ever replicate. Your journey to a desexualized mind. John's story is not unique. It's a testament to the power of focus, the transformative potential of channeling our energy towards what truly matters. The journey towards a desexualized mind isn't about suppressing our desires. It's about mastering them, about choosing to invest our energy in alignment with our values and goals. It's about breaking free from the distractions that keep us tethered to the shallow end of our potential and diving headfirst into the depths of our own capabilities. Unlock your potential. Embrace the cheat code. So I invite you to embrace this cheat code for success. 
Begin by acknowledging the distractions that consume your time and energy. Take steps to minimize their impact, to create space for deep work and focused thought. And most importantly, cultivate a deep sense of purpose, a clear vision for what you want to create in the world. The journey won't be easy, but the rewards are immeasurable. Unlock your potential. Embrace the cheat code. The world is waiting for your unique contribution.